and today I'm teaching you how to make a super easy homemade all-natural tick repellent spray. Now this tick repellent spray has only three ingredients, but the one ingredient that makes it a tick repellent is this rose geranium essential oil. Now I have been a big fan of this rose geranium essential oil for the past three years because it has kept my entire family, including my dog, tick free for literally three years, which is a really, really big deal considering we live deep in the woods of Pennsylvania. There's trees and woods and fresh berries and herbs as far as the eye can see. And we are a super active outdoor type of family. We love to hike, we love to mountain bike, explore through the woods. My dog just loves to swim in the pond and the creek on our property. So we're all the time enjoying outdoor adventures. And when we would come in from our outdoor adventures, we would be covered in ticks, which is not cool. So I got on the phone with my holistic vet a few years ago, and he had mentioned that rose geranium essential oil was really successful in his practice. So I started using it, and we have been using it for the past three years, and it has kept us tick-free. I love this stuff. I'm so grateful to have discovered it. And I thought it would be super fun to show you how I make this super easy rose geranium essential oil spray. So the first ingredient is your rose geranium essential oil. Now a lot of people ask me if I uh, recommend a brand to them, and honestly, um, I purchase and use essential oils from a few different places that I know and trust. I'm not affiliated at all with any essential oil company. Um, I'll definitely link to the one that I use below that, that's been working for me for three years. But if you have um, a company that you love and trust, definitely use what, use what you love. So our first ingredient, the rose geranium essential oil. Our second ingredient is a third of a cup of distilled water. Now you probably know that oil and water don't mix. So our third ingredient is um, either vodka or witch hazel and that will help disperse the oil in the water. And today I'm using one tablespoon of vodka, but if you don't wanna use vodka for any reason, um, go ahead and use one tablespoon of witch hazel. So what you're going to want to do first is you want to pour the witch hazel or vodka into your spray bottle. I'm using a four ounce glass spray bottle. So pour it right on in there. And then next we are going to add 40 drops of our rose geranium essential oil. And then finally, we're going to add a third a cup of distilled water. And that's it. So now all you have to do is put the lid on your bottle and you have a homemade, all natural tick repellent spray all ready to go. This is great stuff. You can spray it on your clothes, you can spray it on your skin, you can spray it on your dog, spray it on your horse. Uh, it's especially great to pack along with kids that are going to summer camps that are outdoors and they're doing all kinds of fun outdoor activities. This will keep them tick free. It's also good for hikers or those that like to mountain bike. Just put it along in your backpack and you've got a great tick repellent that's all natural. You don't have to put those uh, toxic chemicals on your body. So I hope you liked my homemade tick repellent spray tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you know anybody who could benefit from an all natural tick repellent spray, please share this video with your friends or family. Thank you so much. I wish you a very healthy and a tick free rest of the year.